I'm Melissa Cook from MSSymptoms.me, here to talk about my medication Tecfidera. It turns out that Tecfidera has been linked to a PML case. This is extremely important to the 100,000 users of Tecfidera. PML is a nasty brain infection we don't want. It kills 23% of its victims and leaves the rest with severe disabilities. Knowing the risks is extremely important, so I'm here to tell you that being on an immune suppressant drug for a period of time is one of the risk factors. Having low white cell counts, and there are more than one white cell factors to be considered. Check them all and know whether or not you are low on your white cells. Prolonged periods of white cell counts that are below range can be a factor in re getting PML. Having a positive JC virus test means that you are susceptible to PML. And finally, the length of time that you're on the medication. So, what are the symptoms of PML? I looked. You would think that it would be easy to find. It wasn't, but I finally did find it. Turns out that the symptoms of PML are very much like the symptoms of MS, making it hard to diagnose. So if you take a turn for the worse with your MS, don't just chalk it up to being MS. Find out if you have PML. The sooner you find out about it, the better off you're going to be. So, what are some of the symptoms? Well, 18% of the people have seizures. Then, there's not being able to see very well, having half of your vision be blind, having double vision, having a change in your mental status or your personality, becoming weak with your muscles and having problems with motor skills, having cognitive issues, and seeing double. Those are all some of the symptoms of PML. When in doubt, find out. Early detection is the key to having the best possible scenario if you do get PML. For me, I'm going to stay on Tecfidera. I believe that my chances of becoming severely disabled due to PML, at least at this point, are not as likely as my chances of becoming severely disabled without taking a medication. And for me, Tecfidera is the medication that I want to take. So I'm going to stay on it for now and hope that we don't see any more possible links to PML. And just so you know, the victim who recently passed away, passed away after having been on Tecfidera for four and a half years with three and a half of those years, he suffered from lymphopenia. I think I said that right. But that means that he had a severely low white cell count, he or she, can't remember, uh, white cell count throughout that time that he was on Tecfidera. So, watch your white cells, get your JC virus test maybe a little more often, and know the symptoms. Hey, if you're having a bad time with MS, make sure it's MS and not PML. Have a great day.